Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to easily design and order custom t-shirts from Canva. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. We already know that Canva is great for creating amazing t-shirt designs, but you may not realize that you can actually place orders to purchase single tees or even place bulk orders on Canva for the t-shirts that you create. Canva offers free and fast shipping on your t-shirt orders with no minimum quantity required to place your order. This is great for anyone that wants to design a t-shirt to wear for personal use and those that want to buy in bulk for their t-shirt business. Canva prints t-shirt designs using the DTG, which is direct to garment printing method, which allows for more vibrant and higher quality printing. In this tutorial, I'll actually be creating a custom t-shirt on Canva, placing an order, and unboxing the t-shirt to review the quality. Canva says that their DTG printing process provides vibrant, full color printing, and that they use high quality materials for their t-shirts, but today we'll be finding out for ourselves. So let's start by creating a new t-shirt design on Canva so we can place an order, unbox, and review the product. If you haven't already, make sure you unlock your free trial of Canva Pro to access all of Canva's professional tools and features, such as all t-shirt design templates, the background remover tool, all the images and graphics in the Canva library, and tons more. To try Canva Pro for free, head over to jasongandy.org and click the Unlock Canva Pro button or simply go to the link in the description of this video. So before I can place an order from Canva, I'll first have to create a t-shirt design. To create a design for my Canva t-shirt order, let's start by going up to the top menu here and click on the Features tab. Since we're actually going to be ordering a product from Canva, let's go to the column that says Print Products. As you can see, Printful has several print products available, but for this tutorial, we're going to be designing and ordering a custom t-shirt. So let's click on custom t-shirts from the drop down menu here. Here's where you can design, customize, and print your own t-shirt on Canva. As you can see here, Canva t-shirt prints are easy to create and customize, sustainable and locally produced. They're shipped with fast and free shipping, and they even guarantee their customer happiness. They have several styles and fits to choose from, and you can customize your t-shirt with any color or size you wish. If you need help creating your t-shirt designs, Canva offers tons of different t-shirt design templates that you can customize and use for your t-shirt. With the Canva Pro account, you'll have access to all the templates in the Canva library. With millions of images and graphics, the font library, and thousands of design templates, Canva is definitely one of my favorite places to create t-shirt designs. And with free shipping, it may just become one of my favorite places to purchase t-shirts as well. So let's scroll back up to the top of the page here and go over how to create a design for my t-shirt. If you wanted to start with a t-shirt design template, you can click the blue Browse Templates button here. But for my design, I'm just going to click on Create Your Own to start from scratch. This will open up the Canva Design Editor where you can start creating your custom t-shirt design. If you wanted to use a template for your design, you could also use the Templates tab here to browse all the templates on Canva. I don't think I'll be needing a template for my design, but for my t-shirt, I'm going to be creating a black t-shirt, so let's change my background to black. To do this, make sure you have the background selected, then go up to the top bar here and click the colors icon. You can then select whatever color you wish to change your background to. I recommend making your background color the same color as the t-shirt you plan to create so you can see how your design will look. So for my t-shirt. I think I'll create a design using my Quantum Courses logo. So let's start by uploading my logo to add it to my template. To upload an image from your computer, go over to the menu on the left here and click on the Uploads tab. Here's where you can view all the media that you previously uploaded to Canva and upload new media to Canva as well. So let's click the blue Upload Media button, find my logo, and upload it to Canva. Once your new image finishes uploading, simply click it to add it to your template. So here's my Quantum Courses logo. Let's drag the corners to resize the image and click and drag the image to the correct location. There we go. I could create a t-shirt using just the plain logo like this, but I think I'll spice it up a bit. So let's look over at the menu on the left hand side and click on the Elements tab. 
Here's where you can browse the Canva library for tons of different images and graphics that you can use for your design. In the search bar here, let's search for circle outline and see what comes up. As you can see, Canva has tons of different images and graphics that you can use for whatever you're searching for. Since I'm only looking for graphics for my design, let's select graphics at the top here. Now I can browse my results and find a good graphic to use for my design. They have some free graphics available, but to access the entire graphics library, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So for this example, let's just check out this graphic here. Once you add your graphic to your template, go ahead and resize and rearrange the graphic to the right location. Also, let's look at the top menu at the position tab and move my graphic behind my logo. It looks like it's not quite centered, so let's use the slider bar at the bottom here to zoom in a bit on my project. Zooming in helps you get a better view and helps you get things exactly right, especially for smaller graphics. There we go. That looks much better. Feel free to browse the Canva library and add even more graphics if you like. But for this example design, I'm going to keep things simple and just stick with this. When you select a graphic that you've added to your template, you'll also see a toolbar pop up up top here where you can edit it in many different ways. For my graphic, I think I'll adjust the color to a light gray. There we go. I think I like that better. Now that I've added my logo and a graphic, let's go over how to add some text as well. Let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the text tab. Here's where you can add a heading to your template or browse through tons of really cool font combinations that you can also use for your design. To access all the font combinations, you'll need a Canva Pro account. But for my design, let's just add a heading. Once you add a heading to your template, you can edit it any way you wish. For my text, I think I'll just change it to my brand name, Quantum Courses. Now that I've changed my text, let's look up at the top menu here and also change the font. Canva has tons of different fonts that you can browse and choose from, and if you have a Canva Pro account, you can access even more. So let's just go with this font here for my design. I think that font looks pretty cool, but let's see what else we can do with our text. First, I think I'll make the words in my text each a different color. You can do this by selecting the text you want to change, then adjust the color using the top menu here. I think I'll change my first word to red, and the second word to the same gray color I used for my graphic. Not bad. Let's also select my text and use the top menu here to make it bold. I think that looks pretty good, but I think I can move my text to a better location. So let's select my text and use the round icon at the bottom here to turn it 90 degrees. Now I think I'll move it to the left side of my logo. With my text still selected, let's look up at the top menu and go to the effects tab and see what else we can do. Here you can select from several different effect styles that you can add to your text. This includes things like a shadow or even a neon glow, but for my text, I'm going to change the shape. If you select the curve option here under shape, you'll be able to adjust the curve of your text to make some really cool effects. To adjust the text curve, let's use the slider bar down here and curve my text around my logo. There we go. I think that looks pretty cool. If you like, feel free to add more text, more images, or more graphics to your template. But for my design, I think I'm just going to go with this. So now that I'm finished creating my design, let's go over how to order a t-shirt from Canva. If you look up at the top of the page, you should see a button that says print t-shirts. Let's click that now. This will open up a new menu where you can actually view a mock-up of the t-shirt that you're ordering. Select the printer design on one side or both sides of the t-shirt and select the pages that you want to print. If you want to view a different mock-up, you can use the drop-down menu here and select the mock-up style you want to view. Since I'm ordering a men's tee, let's view the men's mock-up. I think that's going to look pretty cool. In the rest of the settings here, we can select to print our design on one side of the shirt or print a design on both sides. You can add the same design to both sides or add a new design by adding a new page. Once you select your design settings, you can then select your shirt color using the drop down menu here. I created my design to go on a black shirt, so I'm just going to leave it on black. In the next section here, we can select our t-shirt options. This will include our t-shirt style, our quantity, and the size we want to order. If you wanted to get an idea of how each size t-shirt will fit, you can click here to access the size guide. 
This is a good way to get some quick measurements and get an idea of what t-shirt size you should be ordering. If you had another design you wanted to purchase, you could click the add another t-shirt button here. But for my order, I'm just going to stick with this one shirt. As you can see here, the subtotal for this order is going to be $20 and Canva offers free shipping. So let's click on continue and go to our shipping details. As you can see here, Canva offers free standard shipping, but if you wanted to upgrade to Express, it'll be for $25. I think standard shipping arrives fast enough for me, so let's stick with that. You can then fill in your name, your contact number, and the rest of your shipping details, then click continue at the bottom. Here's where you can confirm your order and set up your payment details. I already have my credit card connected to Canva, but I could change my payment method if I wanted to by clicking the edit button here. So once you've confirmed your items and your payment method, go ahead and click on place order. And voila, we just placed our first t-shirt order from Canva. If we click on the go to print orders button here, we'll be taken to the purchase history page where we can view all the details and the status of our order. I selected standard shipping, so my order should arrive within five to eight days. Once it arrives, we'll be unboxing and reviewing the product. So I just received my first t-shirt order in the mail and I'm really excited to check it out. The box is pretty small and compact, which is much more eco-friendly than those large packages we get from Amazon each time we order a new toothbrush. So without further ado, let's open it up and check out my new t-shirt from Canva. We have a nice looking floral design box here and we got the Canva logo subtly displayed in the center. Some companies just send you your shirts in a cheap plastic bag, but this is a very well packaged compact box, which is much better at keeping your shirts safe during shipping. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. Looks like they made it easy for us to open the box here with this little pull strip, so I don't even need to grab my scissors or chainsaw to open it up. And would you look at that, I have my new shirt here nicely folded. Looks like the inside of the box also has some artwork, and it says, I'll always have your back. Thanks, box. I also got a nice little thank you letter from Canva with some other information about their sustainability efforts. So now let's check out my new Quantum Courses t-shirt. Canva must have some professional shirt folders on their team because this is definitely folded with precision. Just from feeling the fabric here, I can tell it's made with high quality materials. It feels pretty durable and elastic and not as thin as some of the other t-shirts I've ordered. If we lift up the tag here, we can see we have the Canva logo printed on the back of the shirt. Nice branding, Canva. One thing I noticed is that it doesn't have that strong ink smell that you get from some other print-on-demand companies. You can't even smell the flowers on the box. As you can see, the shirt is a little wrinkled right now, but I'll fix that later with an iron. So let's get a closer look at the actual design. One thing I do notice is that the red color looks a bit lighter on the shirt than it does on the original design. I'll have to keep this in mind when creating future designs. Other than that, the ink looks like it's printed well on the shirt and it won't come off after a couple of runs through the washing machine. If you rub your fingers over the design, you can definitely feel the fine texture of the DTG ink. The stitching on the shirt looks very neatly done and doesn't have a bunch of threads sticking out all over the place. Overall. For the convenience, the shirt cost, free shipping, and the quality of the t-shirt, I'd say this is an excellent service offered by Canva. So now, let's see how this shirt looks on a highly professional, critically acclaimed, super famous t-shirt model. Not bad. I think this will work great for recording videos and for Tuesday night karaoke. It's actually extremely comfortable and fits pretty well. This is a men's small tee and it's made out of 100% comb cotton, which is a bit softer than normal cotton. Recently, I've only been wearing shirts that I've actually designed myself, so I think I'll be making a lot more purchases from Canva. So that's a quick overview of how to design and order custom t-shirts on Canva. If there are actually some print on demand sellers or designers out there that haven't signed up for Canva Pro yet, make sure you click the link in the video description or head over to jasongandy.org to unlock your free trial. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.